I feel like ever since I got my tonsils taken out, I can't gargle. <clears throat> Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it is currently one o'clock in the afternoon. Yes, I did just get through brushing my teeth and doing my whole like I'm I'm starting my morning routine right now. Um, I work from home, so whenever I wake up, sometimes like today it was crunch time. Okay, I had a meeting as soon as I woke up. So I didn't have time to brush my teeth, so I did that now. Plus I haven't eaten anything today. I had water. Um, but anyway, today is Friday, February the 10th, and I am just kind of refreshing myself. Just kind of getting myself ready for the day. Um, I don't have anything planned, but we'll see. out the shower first of all does anybody else's hair do this does anybody else's hair do this like on this side I got you know mm, it's giving you know curly consistent mm, I can wear a wash and go um over here not so much honey not so much and then, like this random long piece in the back like why? I know Brooklyn. I know. I know. I know. Anyway, um, <laughs> next year I'm thinking after my wet, my wedding, I'm thinking about big shopping again. But with the way that my hair is growing out, which I honestly think that it's super straight in some area, bruh. I don't. This makes me want to cut this off. It's my guard dog, everyone. Anyway, um, yeah, this makes me want to cut this off, but I'm not going to only because I'll get into the habit of like cutting my hair off. And next thing you know, whenever I want to decide, when I decide to wear it straight, um, it's like uneven all over so anyway <laughs> so I'm getting ready for my day and I just wanted to talk to you guys you know kind of rant not really rant but just you know just talk while I'm getting ready sorry every time I take a break from work there's always something something I'm just taking a break I'm just taking a break my coworker just asked me if I was here, he's probably going to huddle me here in a little bit because that's just kind of what he does. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to wait until he does, but hopefully he, whatever the question is, he'll just, um, just send it to me. Quick question about this ticket. I submitted this ticket earlier for work and something told me that it was gonna be like a problem as soon as I submitted it. But I didn't say like a problem, but I knew there was gonna be like a follow-up question. Um anyway, that's not what this um this video is supposed to be about. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do like a little what the Oh, I hurt. We're just gonna do a little <clears throat> slick back pony. I don't know why I put my hair in a claw clip before I perfected the part. I'm all over the place. I don't know why. I think I'm excited. Ooh. I think I'm excited because it is the weekend, technically. It's Friday, but it's the weekend for me, honey. Sorry, I keep having to respond back to my work stuff. But anywho, so um, I'm excited it's the weekend. But y'all, these Beyonce tickets, let's let's talk about it. 
let's talk about it i'm using the pattern beauty curl mousse i love this stuff trace ellis ross if you ever see any of my content if you ever see any of it please please i want to be an ambassador or something you know I, uh, anything honey i love your products i love what it does to my hair i love how it smells it just does what needs to be done but let's talk about these beyonce tickets so anyway the whole setup of how everything was going as far as like the ticket sales was very frustrating um part of me wanted to go to the concert uh in atlanta since they have um two dates I think it's like August the 11th and August the 12th, which is like a Friday and a Saturday. I wanted to go. I did. Um, however, I had registered for the pre-sale or for what I thought was the pre-sale. And from what I've been seeing, like I think they've been like randomly picking people and then sending them codes. And then that's how you go into, um, you know uh pay for your tickets you know purchase your tickets so um i never got picked and i was very confused every time i tried to go in for the pre-sale and stuff like that it was saying that my account wasn't like a registered fans account or something like that this is why i need to come out here this is why i need to come out here because why why is it curly down here and then like what is that <laughs> what is that um but anyway like i thought i did everything i was supposed to do leading up to the the ticket sales like going live and apparently i didn't and it was just the most frustrating process because she's never done any of her ticket sales like that before i went to go see beyonce back in 2016 when she came to Atlanta and like it was a whole experience like I enjoyed it um at that time I think I was also sick like I had really bad tonsil stones and so I wasn't really like truly able to enjoy myself and yeah like <laughs> I wasn't able to enjoy myself. I literally had tonsil stones the size of golf balls in my throat. And I still had a good time, you know. But I really wanted a do-over this go-round and getting, you know, better tickets, a little bit closer. All of those ticket prices were absolutely crazy. However, there still were some that were reasonably priced, like, you know, in the 200s and the 300s and stuff like that but i just was not able to get any tickets and you know it's all good at the end of the day i think that they are still having ticket sales and stuff like that but one of my friends had posted how many like seats and stuff are still available and the seats that are available are like Oh my gosh, they're like $1,800 or $2,000, $3,000. Like they are close to the stage. And although like, you know, I could, although I could put that on like my credit card, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I just feel like, you know, God is just not wanting me to go see Beyonce this go around and if I do end up going it's gonna be something miraculous that's gonna happen um but for right now I ain't going to see her and I thought I was gonna be more upset about it but I'm honestly not I mean it is what it is it is what it is but yeah it would have been nice to go this time you know with like a group of my girls or I could have drugged my fiance. He likes Beyonce, but like not like that. <laughs> so 
but I'm still I'm, I'm sure he still would have had a good time just for me um but yeah y'all I didn't end up getting no Beyonce tickets it's all good um if something changes I'll definitely you know update <laughs> on it but for right now I'm not pressed about it I'm not pressed so but yeah I just did one side of putting the the curl mousse and putting my black caster flax seed flip ooh flax seed oil styler in my hair um I love putting this stuff in there because it's like a light gel it's like a light hold so it's not going to make my hair super crunchy or anything now of course when I slick it back like I will put my handy dandy eco styler on there but right now right now I'm just kind of gathering everything together I really hate getting to this front section of my hair because it is totally different like completely and utterly different from the other three quadrants of my hair and I don't understand I don't get it I really don't I think some people were saying that it's like it might be genetics you know so that might be it but who knows who knows I just know that the next time I cut all my hair off I'm probably not gonna dye it because I think that from the years of me dyeing my hair I think my hair for some reason is just really sensitive to hair dye like I can straighten my hair and it'll be fine um you know blowouts and uh everything like that and like my curls will come back just fine but I feel like it, it may have to be from uh dyeing my hair in the past so I don't know but I also feel like I can kind of tell because I haven't dyed my hair in over a year the last time I dyed it I tried to dye it black and the black didn't really take like my hair does not take hair dye it does not take hair dye for anything I don't know why um but it doesn't take hair dye for real like that and if it does take hair dye it's because my hair was previously lightened and I'm like dying it red or something like that but I think the next time I won't dye my hair all over but I'll probably do like some highlights like I'll actually get my hair bleached <laughs> I actually get my hair bleached and I'll get some highlights but you can tell this old hair down here that's like been dyed multiple times needs to go and then everything else up, up here will probably be more springy and you know just um like it'll just be a lot more healthier once I get rid of these like ends and I will say like right now I'm more so focused on the length of my hair and growing it pretty long um just to see how long I can I can get it um I don't really care too much about the curl pattern but I know that eventually I'm going to you know I'm going to want I'm going to start caring a little bit more about it because I want to wear my curls a lot more um but see like you can see like it's very wavy down here and then a lot more tight and coily towards the roots so hopefully that's also not just because like that's how my hair grows out um I'm really hoping that the next big chop that I do will be my last big chop and I'll be good you know like it'll just continue to grow out and I'll have bouncy curls all over because my hair shrinks up honey it shrinks up but yeah and also like if anybody has any hair tips about how to thicken their hair I all I really think that my hair um the thinness of it here comes the worst part y'all this is the worst section don't say I didn't warn you but I um it might be genetic but I would love to figure out how 
to um, thicken my hair. I feel like, see, even if I shake it, it ain't really doing much. Like, oh, I pray when I cut my hair off again that this section will, like, you know, change and. Uh, I mean, look at this. Look at this dramatic difference. Look at this. Look at this difference. Look at this difference. You know what I'm saying? It look a mess. <laughs> but like I said, like I'm not I'm not super stuck on my curl health right now. But I'm just so confused because of like the rest of my hair. Like how is three fourths of my hair fine? and curls and it's the same length and then you come to this one and you're just like what the world so anyway but anyway um back to what i was saying um i really would figure out I, I would love to figure out how to thicken my hair um i feel like i have very i've been told that i have very fine hair um Meaning like I have a lot of strands in my hair like it gives off the illusion of thick but whenever I straighten it it's just it's not it's not um like super thick like I want it to have some weight to it um if I were to put oils in my hair as soon as I um you know straighten it whatever my hair would be stiff um not too long after that because of the lack of density in my hair like i don't have very thick hair so anyway um i'm getting ready to slick this back into a ponytail but y'all see y'all see okay okay uh-huh <laughs> I'm about to slick my hair back into the ponytail, um, which that can get a little graphic. Takes it takes me a little while to do so. So anyway, if you want to see how I do it, just let me know. But if not, I'll see you back in a little bit. I cannot figure out oh for the life of me figure out how to put this camera like on the windshield bro like it's not working in my favor I didn't already like clamp my little finger so many times but anyway I am headed to go and grab something to eat um i'm going to good old chick-fil-a love me some chick-fil-a um oh. my fiance's wives tell me if you feel the same i take my ring off to um like do my hair because like i have a lot of gel and conditioner and stuff and i don't want that getting into like the diamonds like the band and the prongs and stuff so i take my ring off and i forgot to put it back on now i feel naked Ugh. but anyway i'm headed to go to chick-fil-a and i'm so excited this is probably like the second time i've eaten chick-fil-a this year 
Yeah, I think it's my second time eating Chick-fil-A this year. Um, which is different for me because I go to Chick-fil-A. I used to go to Chick-fil-A probably, if not every single day, probably like four times a week, which is pretty bad. Um, you know, with me trying to be money conscious and everything and wanting to save for a wedding and trying to pay debt off and stuff like that it's just not a money conscious decision to keep eating out all the time and so we don't for the most part um i become like a master at cooking certain things um but your girl has realized she is not good at baking <laughs> from scratch like i can bake a box cake and box brownies and stuff like that but i recently tried to um i tried to make brownies from scratch it did not turn out good at all they were super dry i, I don't know if i have pictures or anything but like super dry but also trying to be fudgy like i don't know what it was doing but it was not good but um anyway yeah like i want to talk about wedding planning for a little bit um why didn't y'all tell me that planning a wedding is extremely expensive and I'm not talking about like, you know, um, yeah, like of course your videographer and photographer, like that's gonna be expensive. Like I get that. I get that. I'm all for that. But these wedding decorating companies and oh my gosh and that that's basically basically the main thing that has been stressing me out as of late and that is trying to find a decorator and it also kind of stuck between wanting to do diy now i feel like we can diy a few things per se but the more i think about it the more i really don't want to diy because I'm thinking about the fact that we would have to wake up hella early on the wedding day just to um, decorate the venue. And then on top of that, there's a lot of things that we wouldn't know how to do, like hanging up drapery and, you know, if we have fixtures or anything that are going to be floating from the ceiling or whatever. Um, I don't have the resources or the means to do that meaning like I don't have a tall I'm pretty sure they would have one at the venue but like we don't have tall ladders or anything but it's just a risk to get up there and try to do that on my wedding day um I just don't want to like part of me wants to but the other part of me is just like okay you're gonna have to be real with yourself a little bit Jay because think about time think about you know taking and breaking stuff down after the wedding like you're not gonna want to do that so that's why I'm just trying to be super smart and um yeah but anyway like we uh, met with a um, wedding designer um and their prices were going to end up being $15,000 for the simple package. For the simple package. Um I really would love to get a breakdown as to how much like oh my god I forgot the sewage is over here so it smells terrible but I really would love to get a breakdown like an itemized breakdown of how much everything is and why I think that that would kind of nip a lot of things in the bud but I'm sure a lot of these companies aren't going to do that if you were to ask so I'm not even gonna do that uh, I have a wedding designer that's actually calling me right now and although her prices are a little bit cheaper than the other company we were looking at her prices are still $10,000 and after doing my research and stuff like 
a lot of websites and stuff are saying that um that that's like the average cost or whatever for weddings um for decorations and stuff but the thought of spending ten to fifteen thousand dollars on decorations that we won't even get to keep or reuse or resell just does not sit right with me it don't sit right with my spirit at all it really does not um even if we had it like that to where we were able to drop like a hundred grand on this wedding i still would try to find the best option for um you know for like I, I would just try to get the best bang of our buck like out of our buck i would just do that um i think that's my mom and me like my mom is a very money conscious person and i'm trying to be more like that like the older i get like i don't want to be cheap or anything you know of course i know that everything costs and if you want it to be done a certain way you may have to invest a little bit more money but fifteen thousand dollars for some decorations that we're not gonna keep that we can't keep No, and even if we were to like have a budget of a hundred thousand dollars for a wedding, we probably would like put that into the food or the location or the experience or the entertainment. Like, if we were to able to, if we were able to get a singer or you know somebody that would be worthwhile, like worth that, um, it would be different. But anyway that's just my little rant on that um i'm still excited about getting married absolutely but i will say that this wedding planning process and like the finances and logistics behind that has been stressing me out a lot and i've been trying not to let it stress me out so much because yeah it's just it ain't that deep at the end of the day it's not that deep and it would never be that deep because i am that girl <laughs> i am that girl they gotta go all the way around just to get in the daggone drive through This is crazy. This is crazy. What may I get for you today? I'm gonna have a mobile order for JH. Alright, thank you. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Cause what's so funny? <laughs> Y'all know that meme, or like not that meme, but it's like a sound on Instagram where it's just like your fear of looking stupid is holding you back. You dag on right, the fear of looking stupid is holding me back because I am from and live in Birmingham, Alabama, where a lot of people don't vlog. A lot of people, you know, aren't just walking around with a camera or having it <laughs> just out. So I don't know. I don't know what she was laughing at, but I know it wasn't me because she was giggling before she came up to my car. Yeah, I feel really bad because this, uh, wedding designer just reached out to me just kind of following up and i know she's trying to make some things shake for us but i i can't i can't i can't get with the 10k baby girl i can't get with the 10k so i just kind of want to let her know like what our expectations were and how we're just trying to stay within a certain range <sighs> a j mm -hmm. Thank you. Have a great one. Yes! It is currently 5.56 in the afternoon. Y'all remember earlier I was telling y'all, oh, you know, I'm not going to be... Uh, oh, I told y'all I'm not going to see Beyonce. You know, whoop. Tell me where I'm going. Tell Can I help you? How do I have to do 
The lighting ain't good right here. Tell me why I'm going. Like, <clears throat> so much can change in a blink of an eye. Like, my friend who I'm going with, my friend Maima, she texted me and was like, you know, sis, I want to go see um beyonce and i'm just like dang i did too but then she sent me the tickets like she had access to the tickets so i'm just like wait a minute now last time i checked the tickets weren't on there so what what changed so anyway i went on there myself because the tickets she sent me they were for um california i'm not california uh canada and I'm down. I was like, you know, I'm down. We can go to the one in uh, Canada. Um, I got my passport. Like, it'll be cool. Um, but I kept looking. And I finally saw the ones that were open for Atlanta, which is the closest to us. But the tickets they had left were no. Absolutely not. Um, they were way too expensive and I figured they would be, I figured like those would be the ones that are left because, you know, people been buying the tickets to go to Atlanta all week. So anywho, we went on there and we continued to look, um, and you know, they had some tickets that were reasonably priced available for Houston. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, let's go to Houston. You know, Beyonce's from Houston. It's probably going to be super lit like she might bring out Meg the style you know like I don't know but I'm so excited your girl is going to see Beyonce I'm going in September of this year which is perfect because it it just is just a long way away so um yeah by the time that rolls around um everything's gonna be well and paid for I mean you know and I'm just so excited. Like, I haven't seen Beyonce since 2016. And like I said earlier in the video, I, oh, I was not feeling good. I had tonsil stones and I ended up having to get my tonsils removed after that. So, I ain't got no tonsils beat. I ain't got no tonsils. So, this time, you know, I'm going to stay prayed up. I'm going to be eating my greens. I'm going to be, you know, drinking smoothies and stuff. I'm going to make sure my immune system is well boosted before I go and see the queen. So, I just wanted to pop on in here and say that real quick. My little update for the day. I haven't done anything. I'm done working. Um, I'm getting ready to clean up the apartment um, really quick because I'm going to go over to my friend Rebecca's house and um, help her build a diaper cake for a baby shower that she's throwing tomorrow so yeah i'm gonna go help her do that and yep alexa play i'm that girl by beyonce i'm that girl by beyonce from apple music <laughs>
Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday the 11th. And it's very gloomy outside. It's very rainy. Um, I just woke up. Actually, no, I didn't just wake up. Um, I woke up at 7, like 7.40 this morning. And it was so funny because um, my fiance was getting... I'm just trying to say his name. O'Neal was getting <laughs> ready for work. And I was so confused because when I was asleep, I was having like this weird dream. But anyway, I woke up thinking that it was Sunday and um, I was so confused. I was like, why are you getting ready for work? And he's just like, I got to go to work. And I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> I was so confused. Um, and then I realized I'm like, oh. Today is Saturday. Okay. I'm not mad about it. But, um, yeah, guys, I just woke up um, a few hours ago, but I just been kind of laying around in the room um, trying to figure out what I want to eat. Because um, I'm kind of hungry. It's 10 o'clock now, and I've been up for like the past two and a half hours. So, yeah, but the rain just sounds so peaceful. Um, yeah. And I think it's going to be raining all day long. So, me and this little squirt here are just going to be watching movies and such all day i guess right now um i'm watching the black clansman um yeah uh i really like this movie it's a good movie um very enlightening but also has like a lot of humor in it like it's bringing awareness to you know how things were uh, with racism, the KKK, and stuff like that. Um, if you haven't watched it, I advise you to watch it. It has, um, I hate that I don't ever know his name. What is his name? Now I gotta figure out what his name is. But it's, um, Denzel Washington's son. But I want to give him more credit than that, like. He's not just Denzel Washington's son. He he got. He has his own name. Let me see. Okay. It's uh his son John David Washington, um, who's in this movie. There he go right there. And he plays um dang. It's Adam Driver. But he plays uh there he is. He plays um, an undercover police officer. So, yeah, it's it's a very good movie. A very, very good movie. But, yeah, um, uh, like I said, like I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing the rest of the day. I don't really have anything planned. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up, so I kind of wanted to do... Um, I feel like sometimes in these movies, like, you know, when uh, certain, like, actors, like, white actors get the opportunity to say the N-word with the hard R, like, they just take it there. Like, it's it's some passion behind that. Although, like, I'm pretty sure they're not racist in real life, but it's just, I don't know, man. I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, I don't know what I'm doing the rest of the day. Um, like I said, I wanted to do some... Maybe like Valentine's Day preparation. I'm probably going to vlog us on Valentine's Day. Um, like what we plan on doing because I'm off the day after Valentine's Day and he's off too. So we'll probably just make it a whole day because it's very rare that we're off at the same time on the weekdays. So um, yeah, I'm excited. But I'm just rambling at this point. Um, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> so it's been some time later. 
I still look a mess. But um, I ended up leaving today. I know I said I didn't really have any plans, but I ended up leaving. I went to go grab some food and I went to go get my eyebrows done. If you can kind of tell. But I get <clears throat> I get my eyebrows threaded. Um, ladies, like if you're looking to find somewhere to get your eyebrows threaded, um, who does a really good job. In my opinion, I go to the Jasmine's Arch in Homewood and I get them done by Jasmine. Um, I've gotten my eyebrows like in the past, so I got them waxed before. Um, my mom used to pluck my eyebrows in middle school and honestly, like getting your hair plucked hurts way more than threading to me and it takes much longer than threading as well like although with threading they're pulling out multiple hairs at one time i just would i would much rather have like i don't know how i don't know how to say it, like efficiency in this situation like i much rather them like you know be able to get it over with because that constant plucking plucking my eyebrows that's gonna make me mad <laughs> that's gonna make me so bad um it's just taking too long and like i do have a high pain tolerance i would i really think i have a high pain tolerance i done been through oh i done been through some pain i probably have some videos on like certain things that i've gone through but um like pain wise but um yeah i just i like threading um i like how she shapes my eyebrows she never makes them too thin or anything like I really like this. I like the, like it's just so clean and she still leaves the front part thick. And then, you know, of course, thins out the end to give that arch look, but I love it. But anyway, um, I just got, well, I have, I didn't just get home. I've been home for probably like, go on, so I've been home for like two hours now. And I just kind of laid around in the bed because I don't have anything to do. Like the apartment, well, I could fold clothes, but who really feel like folding clothes? I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. We can do that as a team when he gets home. <laughs> but um, no, like the living room's clean, the dishes are washed, and yeah, bathroom's clean and everything. So I um, don't have anything to do. So um yeah i just received um a package from amazon so i'm getting ready to do my own nails um because honey prices went up like yesterday's prices are not this are not today's prices like they are not today's prices um i remember when we used to get full sets for like 25 dollars 30 dollars um these last two times i have gotten my nails done the first set was $85 and that was you know, like a full set and I got white tips and so I got like, you know, a French manicure, not even a manicure, but you know, I got that. That's how much that cost. And then I got my nails. I got a filling, a filling. I said the first time I got it done, it was $95. $95. I got a filling and one nail to repair, one nail to repair. And it was like $75, $85 for a fill-in. A fill-in? Really? So anyway, uh, I made a like goal for myself year 2023. I haven't got my nails done at all since uh, Christmas time. So I told myself year 2023, if I can figure out how to do it, I'm gonna start doing it myself. Anywho, I am getting ready to do the Gel X. I'll probably record myself doing it and I might do a TikTok on it too. But I saw some girl on TikTok and she had this in her Amazon storefront. Um, this makes her Gel X last longer. So she got the acid free primer and then she got the nail prep dehydrator. So i'm going to test these out i have nothing to do right now um i have nothing to do at all uh tomorrow is super bowl sunday so i 
we will be going to my dad's house um and just hang out with them so yeah but anyway i'm about to try this and say i go <laughs>